Hello, my name is Sarah, and I'm going to be talking about our paper, What Does a Platypus Look Like? Generating Customized Prompts for Zero-Shot Image Classification. First, I want to go into a little detail about zero-shot image classification with models like FLIP. These models are trained to encode text and images, and then provide a similarity score of these encodings. To use CLIP for image classification, the authors of the original CLIP paper proposed a method in which they handwrite prompt templates, which are designed to look like image captions. They then complete each of these templates with the names of the categories in the data set. The image is categorized based on which caption encoding most closely matches the image encoding. This approach to image classification comes with a few challenges. The first is that the prompt templates are not able to capture any visual details about the categories, which can contain useful identifying features. The second challenge is actually in writing the prompt templates. As an example, here are all the prompt templates that are ensembled together in the original clip paper for ImageNet. Handwriting all these templates for a single data set is a time-consuming process. The final challenge to this approach is that we often need to know information about the data distribution in order to write effective prompt templates. For example, ImageNet contains some images which are toy representations of the given category, and therefore also contains the toy blank as a prompt template. So in summary, we want a method for creating these captions that addresses these challenges. In particular, we want our captions to contain specific visual information, require fewer handwritten sentences, and not use prior knowledge about the data distribution. And we want all of these things while still maintaining or increasing the accuracy of the model. In this work, we achieve this using a large language model. So instead of this standard setup where we use prompt templates, we are simply going to ask an LLM to provide a description or multiple descriptions of our image categories. We are then going to replace our handwritten templates with the output of our LLM. We call this method Customized Prompts via Language Models, or COUPLE for short. The LLMs generate rich visual descriptions that contain much more information than those original templates. For this method, we do still have a bit of prompt engineering. We are now automatically generating the prompts which we feed into, the, into CLIP as image captions, which we call image prompts, but we still need to construct the prompts to query the LLMs. So the first goal when we began this project was we wanted to improve accuracy with significantly fewer human written prompts than the standard approach. So let's look at the prompts used in the standard method for a small selection of data sets, including the ADI I previously showed that are used for ImageNet. This is the accuracy when using these standard prompts across 15 different data sets. We also show in the second row the number of handwritten prompts used for each data set. Overall, we have an average accuracy of 73.43 across all 15 data sets and a total of 175 unique handwritten prompts. And note that we want to be in the top left corner of this plot because we want the highest possible accuracy with the lowest possible effort. And here are the prompts we came up with in order to prompt the LLM to generate descriptions. So we have five for ImageNet, four for Kinetic 700, and two for aircrafts. And we did this for 15 different data sets, and here are our results. We see higher accuracy on every single data set with more than one per percentage point gains on ImageNet and significantly fewer handwritten prompts overall, including a drop from 80 to just five handwritten prompts for ImageNet. And here we can see this visually compared to baseline with higher average accuracy and fewer total prompts. While this setting significantly reduced the need for prompt engineering, we also wanted to offer a setting which requires no new prompt engineering for new data sets at all. So we created the couple base setting, which uses the same three prompts across every single data set. And we found that this beats the baseline setting on all but two data sets. Here's couple base in relation to couple full and the standard setting. Couple full maximizes accuracy, while couple base minimizes effort. Overall, though, both couple settings have a higher average accuracy with lower average effort than the standard method of prompting. Please refer to the paper for additional results, including additional ablations, investigations into why descriptive captions improve accuracy, uh, results for different model scales, and more. Thank you for watching, and thank you to my co-authors for their valuable contributions to this work.